Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to more Tekken 7 character customization. And in this one, we're going to be turning a character into something that he could obviously be. Obviously. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be, well in this video, we're going to be changing Dragonov into Snake from Metal Gear Solid. Let's see how we're going to do this. I think this is one of the more obvious characters that you can change a Tekken character into. So first thing we gotta do, the headband, right? Look at the headband, right? Alright, so now that we got the headband, I don't think the hair matters. The hair is pretty much fine. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do two different character changes in this video for Dragon Off. I'm going to do two of them. I'm not going to put them out in separate, uh, for separate videos. Other than that. So related to Metal Gear than anything. Well, now we gotta change the color of some of these because this stuff was kind of clean. Take that black. I see just humping the camera right there. Why the hell am I that close, first of all? That's an even better question. Make this black too. Make this green, green as we can get it. Let's see if I can find a picture. I, I, I want Here we go. Okay, so I did have him wrong. Okay, so this is the Metal Gear, the Metal Gear Solid I'm looking at. This is the one from... I think this is the one from Smash Brothers. Alright, so the, the good thing is that I do have the right gear. It's just like I got the colors wrong. So the gear is correct. You just gotta get the colors right. So, you wanna change this. I'm gonna keep this like a dark green. This is gonna be a dark green. That like that. Um, this. Everything else is gonna be grayish color. These are actually gonna be like a dark green. Just based on the picture that I'm looking at. Like I said, this is the one that. This is one. I don't. I don't know if this is the PS1 version of them, or if this is. Like, I know he looked a little bit different than like the, the last one. Like I said, I wish I had like. Alright, so this right here is the Metal Gear Solid 2 Snake. That's the one that I'm thinking. The one from Metal Gear Solid 2. So. Only, like if only that cross plate to remain the same, I think it will be good. Looking at this stuff right here, I don't know what. Like, it seems like it's all going to mend well together once it once it's uh, once it's finished.
Let me just take this. That right there. Alright, I'm gonna leave this as it is for now. We're gonna go over to her at the top. Let me see. Because he actually has canisters on his chest. The picture that I'm looking at. Alright. Uh, what are we changing first? The gloves. So it's gonna get changed to that. Alright. So the gloves are right. Next up, we got shoulder pads, the arm guards. Let's see, we can make those same color. Oh no, I might end up going back and changing this later on. Let's keep it like this. make the green a little bit greener, I think I'll be good. I feel like it's not easy to get the, the, the color green that you want. Wait, it's green, but then it changes. I don't think I can get up any closer, can I? Yes, I don't know if it's just blending in with that, or if it's actually that green. Yeah, it does change. So there's no way for you to keep that color on it. Damn, so we can't keep that same... That same shade of green is actually what I need. I mean, if I'm going to do this color scheme accurately, uh, I guess they limit what you can do. That's fine. Um, it's about like a darker gray anyway. Damn, that sucks. You know what? I, I, I might just leave these as is. I might not even touch them. Uh, like I won't be able to get the color green again. as is, I can't do no customization on that. Don't really look. Don't really look right. Let me take a look at the thing. Everything you got is like a green and a dark green. So going back to the top. I guess I'll keep it like that. That's that's pretty accurate. I'm seeing. Um, Under Armour. Okay, we're gonna turn this gray. This chest piece. There's no way possible I can get this as, like any darker green than this. But that's the only downside. Oh, here we, oh yes. We can. Oh shit. Okay, damn. I didn't know we could. Oh, all right. Well, all right. No harm, no foul. I'll take that. I'll take that. There you go, because this is the color green that I needed. Oh, man. Oh, we got it, huh?
told to color green around here. I mean, I can go back and I can just re-edit some stuff. I didn't get accurately the first time. Well, hey, you're living and learning. Really, the main thing I want to change is these colors right here. All right, oh yeah, we're still on top. I don't matter. That's taken care of, we good. Great. Okay, now we gotta get this light. Ah. Oh. I was trying my ass off. Hey. All right, so at least we finally got it. This is perfect, man. What's the shoes, huh? Change the headband to that color. Dragging off, dressed up as Snake from Metal Gear Solid. Let's see if we can get a good picture of him. I was going to do two people. I was going to have them dressed up as two different people. I did the first one, and uh, it was a snake. Now I'm going to do another one. So we're going to have them dressed up as Solo Mania. As close as I can get them. <laughs> we're going to have them dressed up as Skullo Mania. And with this thing, I can probably get them dressed up as that guy from Team Fortress 2. But, um, I don't know what's his name. Uh, Stealth? Assassin, I, I don't, I don't know. I never played Team Fortress 2. I wouldn't know, but pretty sure somebody will be able to do it. Uh, 
Yeah, so, so we're gonna get him dressed up as, as uh, Galomania. The first thing we gotta do is get all of the skeletons to get. The first thing we gotta do, all the skeletal gear. All, all of the skeletal deals. Wow. Skeletal gear. I'm tongue tied like a motherfucker. Um. Bottoms. Wait, no. Only downside to this. It's pretty much that he doesn't have a scarf to go running in the wind like Skullomania actually had. So. I don't know how this is gonna work. This is the closest thing we can get to Skullomania. out on the scarf until later if anything that was like a smoking skull mania I don't know not like you'll be able to tell but his under color was kind of like a, a light blue. What's that blue? I know it had like a like a blue tinge to it. I'm not oblivious to Golo Mania. Let me let me see. Okay, so he had two versions. He had one that was kind of like a blue tinge um, underneath the skeleton and, and, and another one which was black. So, I don't know, I guess we'll keep it simple and we'll go with the black. Or maybe, uh, let me see if I can get this blue tinge to work. I can get the scarf. If I had the scarf, it would be so much better. Yeah, having a scarf would make this so. This would make this outfit just be that much more accurate for Skullomania had. But of course, I'm limited. Like my options are limited. I can't really do what I would like. Video game restrictions. I don't know, I wish they had like a scarf the way Leo has a scarf wrapped around her mouth. Maybe that could pass off as it, but we, but 
they don't have one. And this kind of looks more so like a Street Fighter, but like more like Ryu. I don't want to go for that. But like I said, I just I stick with the skull. So we got Skullomania. We have Snake from Metal Gear. That is two customizations for Dragonall. In the future, I may come up with some more. So you guys just keep your eye out for them. And I hope you guys enjoy watching these. You know, I try to do what I could with what the game had available. So most definitely. Hope you guys enjoyed it.